So it's Joe Bleen here, and look what's arrived. It's not the Foothead database. That's, from what I'm aware, it's coming soon. So obviously they're still working on it, and the Foothead database is obviously a lot more user-friendly and works mobile-wise. But FIFA renders, he does a bunch of, like, console stuff. He's obviously been playing FIFA Mobile this year, it seems. And he's put together a database website. Now, he does recommend that um, you need to use it on a PC or laptop. Um, if you go on, the, on a mobile or a tablet, I haven't seen it on a tablet actually, but on a mobile, it doesn't look great indeed. I will show you it on a mobile in a bit once we come out of the application here. We'll switch back to phone view. Um, it doesn't look great. It's kind of usable, but it doesn't look great. It's very basic in terms of a UI, but it works and it's absolutely brilliant for what it is. Um, the site reverts back. So if you do FIFA renders with a .com forward slash FIFA mobile, it takes you to Messi by default. But you can search players here. So there's no advanced search feature or anything at the moment. It's literally, he's only just put it out. It's very basic. Everything's extracted from game files from what I understand. And it shows you obviously all the stats if they have other cards. And you search up here. So for example, let's go to Ronaldo. Cristiano Lewis. Ronaldo's here. Uh, left wing Ronaldo. Obviously you've got the mobile master Ronaldo here. And it's obviously got the trait. So... Um, traits, I guess these are hidden traits that players have, like I guess what they have on console don't really matter about traits though or does it, maybe that's something we can look into in the future, but you can change the card base rating and this actually works and it's aligned, it's all pulled exactly from in game so if you take it, if you do up to 90 these are his 90 stats and you've got the skill boost here and it can have the skill boost on and then it'll highlight here which stats the skill boost has improved, um, so that's great it's a really good site. You do need to know who you're searching for, though. So there's no advanced feature, advanced search feature at the moment. But it does what it needs to do. So what I would recommend doing is if you are looking for certain players, because obviously we've been looking for something like this, so that we know what low players are worth upgrading further and you know if you take it further. So what I would recommend doing is combining it with the... At the moment, how it works, until we get the Foothead database... I would recommend combining it with the console database on Foothead. So you go to Foothead, obviously let's have a look. So we want to search, let's think, let's try and find the paciest player we can. So we're going to go for sort by pace. And uh, let's go on this view just because it looks nicer. So obviously here we're getting a lot, but um, what we'll look at, because we want to look for the lowest rated, with the most improvements, so like Bolly, for example, 66 rated, 95 pace on console. So we'll come back over, we'll type in Bolly, and obviously he's in the game at 95 pace, 65. He's got the passing skill boost. Now Bolly doesn't is his skill boost doesn't actually give him a plus pace. So maybe Bolly's not the type you would look to go further. But if we take him up to 100, that puts him at 120 pace, which is pretty fast. But we know there's faster out there. So let's have a look. Asante. Asante, let's see if he's got... Let's see if Asante... Uh, how are we searching this? Has he got an accent? Because one thing I have noticed already is that um, you do... If a player does have... If a player has... It's basically been all taken... It tries to guess what you're doing as you type. But it's been taken from in-game. So that means that if a player's got an accent on one of their character letters, you do have to search like that, the same way you'd be searching on the transfer market itself. But we add this in here, so we put a skill boost up. That took his acceleration up to 118. We'll take up the rating. That puts him at 120 sprint speed, 140 acceleration, 129 pace. Wow. Um, so that's low players that are going up. Let's have a look at... Um, let's have a look at Aubameyang, because obviously he is the fastest. Uh, Bemi Yang's here. He's starting at 95. He's got the heading. So when we take him up, he's up to 120, 120, 120. It seems that maybe. Wait, do. You, no, ratings can go above because we saw 140. But I'm just thinking do base ratings this year max out at 120? And then the skill boost can potentially take them up to 140. That's what I'm thinking this year is the case. Um. Let's have a look, see if we can find anyone that actually goes goes above. Yeah, let's see if we can, can we find anyone who goes up above 120 pace. 120, 120. 
balanced. Uh, that doesn't affect it. Let me have a look at Saw. Uh, what's his first name? That's not the right one, is it? No. What is Saw's first name? It is... No, it's the... Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is Saw? Where's Saw? Scouting Saw. Is that him? I think that's him, isn't it? Is Marty Saw. Can we search that one? Yeah, we can search that way. First name first. I'm sure that's the right Saw, is it? Yeah, this is the right Saw. We'll go to his... He's um, scouting striker. Um, take him all the way up. 120. Okay, so that's interesting to know. Basically, and then because he's got the pace skill boost, that puts him up to 140. So for what I tell for pace, Saw is potentially the fastest player in the game at 140. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive indeed. But that's interesting to know because now if we can work out and be for sure that stats max for base stats without skill boost stats, stats max that out at 120. So if you're looking at taking a player all the way up to 100, because my guess is potentially at some point later in the game, we're going to have all our players on 120, on 120s. So do we necessarily need to look for the fastest player if it's going to max that out at 120? Because let's have a look here. We'll take this off a minute. At what stage does Saw reach 120? Is it a case that he gets there early or does it gradually wait till it gets to the uh, 93? Is it 95 then? Um, so by 95, Saw is already at 120 pace. Leveling up from 95 to 100 isn't going to increase his pace anymore. His pace is maxed out by 95. So if you're looking for the fastest, maybe you look for players that necessarily aren't the fastest, but they've got some other stats as well, because you know that as long as you're getting into 120. So let's have a look at, um, let's use the good old foothead beast rating calculator. Um, and let's have a look at someone who's fairly, not the fastest. Uh, let's have a look at Lukaku, 83 pace. I don't think, I wonder if you can get Lukaku all the way up to 120 pace, but his acceleration's kind of low compared to his sprint speed. Lukaku at 100 has the 120 sprint speed and 110 acceleration. Um, so you can, if we're, if we're looking at players long term, you can kind of like see that you don't actually need to go for the ones that are naturally the fastest because they're going to get there and they're not going to come and go. And let's have a look at uh, Michael Antonio. Uh, Mikhail Antonio, there he is, obviously striker, 87, 82. Let's put him at 95 first, 103, 115, 105. When you get to 100, he's at 120, 120. 120, is it to get there just be at 99? At 99, Mikhail Antonio would reach 120, 120. And obviously he starts at a base pace of 84. So you look at, so these 90s are great at the moment because obviously they're quicker now. But, um... You don't necessarily need to. Let's have a look at uh, Giovinco. So let's have a look at his striker card here, 91 pace. Let's have a look. Night by 95. Okay, he's got a smaller curve. He's already reached it. At 100, you get into the 120. Um, 120 dribbling. That's cool. Let's have a look at some of the legends. Wait, are these? Is this player not found? Okay, one second. What con? What legends are on cons? Well, icons should I say this year? Uh, no, George Best. No, he's not on it this year, is he? Just look. Can this? Is this going to essentially? JJ Okocha. Okay, so this is revealed. We we it kind of Michael Lodrup, yeah. We kind of guessed that um, all the icons would be the same as on console, but it looks like these game files are in here to show that they are there. So EA could potentially release them, but they've not released them yet. So we can't see them yet. But the Ronaldinho's here, uh, taking him up to 100, and he's just off 120 pace, 115 shooting. He's got some pretty impressive stats. But yeah, I think the game now is to look for the most well-rounded cards possible and take them all the way up. So let's, um, let's go for a centre mid, because they normally have the most total stats. Centre mid, beast rating. Who is the card? Is it Dab? Is it Dab who had a really, really 
Is it Dabo? 78, 70, 73, 74, 74, 78. That's quite a pretty well-rounded card. Take that to 100. 120, 100, 110, 120, 107, 98. That's some well rounded card. You add his set pieces on, and it's taking shot power, long shots, free kick, long, and crossing up. So, some of these. Let's have a look. Leon Gorgetska. 84, 73, 78, 81, 74, 74. Taking it up to 100. 120, 100, 100, 102, 92. So, I think looking long term, we're looking at these well rounded plays because there's no point necessarily, if you're going all the way up, to um, looking for the strongest pacers. By the time you get to 100, they've got their paces before they've got there. So that's interesting. Now, we're going to go jump over to mobile in a minute um, because I want to show you what it looks like on mobile. But I have checked some players out and their stats do all line up. So, for example, because I thought, let's go for some players that, like, it's pulled from game fan, I believe in, because we've got, like, my cone here at 84. Um, 84 cone, 64 pace, 77 shooting, 82 passing, 83 agility, 80 defending, 82 physical. If you jump to the game, you can see that. Um, so we'll go jump over into the other footage. We'll, we'll jump into mobile now. Okay, so we're back over uh, in the game now. And as we had Cohen up there, let's go get the Cohen in my club. Where is he? He's at 84. Here he is. So this is with the skill boosts on. Let's just put him into the lineup out position so we can... So I can show you it without the skill boost affecting the stats so you can see it properly. 84 Cohen, you are... What are you hiding? Were you further up because of, there you are. You're hiding there because obviously because of my skill boost. Move him over there. Uh, train 64. 64, 77, 82. 83, 80, That's dead on. It works. He's pulled it from the game file and it works. So this is absolute madness helpful but let me show you what the website looks like on mobile at the moment because like i say I'm, I'm not here it is so we've got current up and the play sort of cuts off you can search um you can do all that you can see the stats the it overlaps a little bit and the stats look a little bit dodgy like it formats a bit out so it's the information's there it just doesn't look pretty but it works so like i said definitely recommend using the foothead console database to get an idea of what players you're looking for and then take them over into fiforenders.com forward slash fifa mobile to then double check against them so a combination of both sites for now is going to give us the best outcome and it's going to make sure you know who to look for so have a play around with it let me know what beast you find that look well worth upgrading uh massive thanks for fifa renders for putting this together also looking forward to obviously when foothead ones comes out seeing what they're doing because obviously foothead's the UI is there. They've already established with their UI. User interface, that is. So that'd be good. Um, sorry if I felt rough. I am very rough from being out for New Year's Eve. But do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Happy New Year, everybody. And I'll see you all later. Peace. The behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love.